Nashville hot barbecue chicken. There's layers of heat, a little bit of sweet, but you're gonna get that fiery bite you expect from Nashville hot. This one's worth it. I'm gonna dig into these. You guys go watch the recipe. Nashville hot barbecue sauce. If you had to pick one recipe out of this cookbook, it would be that. This recipe is really that good. I've had Nashville hot chicken quite a few times during my travels there. If you want to know which place is my favorite, check the comments. I don't fry a lot of food, but I smoke a lot of food. So I really wanted to see how I could tie those flavors together. And you guys are going to be excited about this. So let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and make the barbecue sauce first. So first ingredient is one and a half cups ketchup. Got three tablespoons apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, quarter cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of yellow mustard. We got three tablespoons of molasses. All right, here's where the fun comes in, all the chili powders. So first we got a teaspoon of Wajio chili, teaspoon of chipotle powder, teaspoon of smoked paprika, Key for this recipe, the cayenne. Now use how much you want. I'm using two teaspoons of cayenne in mine. Now if you don't have all those chili powders, you can definitely use some Sedona sand mixed with cayenne. You can't substitute the cayenne, but the Sedona sand all-purpose blend, this does have most of those other chilies in here. Got one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon sea salt, and that's it. Now I just need to stir and be patient. As this starts to heat up, I'm probably gonna whisk it just to get out any of those lumps that we've got going on. And we're pretty much ready to go. You can see this is pretty smooth. Let's get a spoon. All right, so you can see the sauce is pretty much done. It's nice and thick. It doesn't take but maybe five, six minutes or so, just like on a low heat, you just want a low simmer. And if you wanna thin it out, use a little water, apple cider vinegar. If you want it thick, just leave it as is. Don't forget to taste it though. Speaking of taste, let me go ahead and taste it. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's good. It's nice and sweet up front, and then you got that cayenne and the chipotle coming in behind with the swing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sauce cool off, and then we'll go prep the chicken. All right, so for the chicken, we're gonna keep it simple today. I'm not doing a whole chicken. You can do that in the cookbook. We're doing chicken drumsticks. All right, first I'm gonna add a little bit of oil because I'm not gonna dry brine these. So this is just a neutral oil. I think this one's grape seed, and I'll just Rub that in on all of the drumsticks here. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rub recipe up on the screen. I've got a bottle here that I use. Um, this is the same recipe that you see on the screen. I've been using this for quite a long time. And uh, this is not a traditional Nashville hot rub. It's just inspired by a lot of the flavors. So Nashville hot does not typically have you know, wahio or even brown sugar, you know, it's meant for frying. So I wanted to convert those flavors into some delicious barbecue. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna let these hang out while I heat up the grill and get that preheated. I'm gonna cook them indirectly over some charcoal so that we can get a little bit of smoke flavor, a little bit of char. All right, today I got the Weber lit up. We've got the heat controller on here. I've got some Jealous Devil in the middle. I'm gonna throw a few chunks of wood. I'm using just some pecan pecan, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I'm going to put all the drumsticks on the outside and uh, let those uh, wood blocks get ignited. You know what? We got a pretty good view here. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw these drumsticks on. I'm kind of putting the meat towards the middle, the bone towards the outside, and then I am going to close the lid. Don't worry, these flames will die down. Not that you're worried. I should be the one that's worried. It's coming right up into my face. But anyway, all right, so with the lid on, I choked down most of the heat. Uh, you can see we've obviously got some smoke, so hopefully we're developing some great flavor inside. All right, let's take a look. Whoa, look at that color. Oh, that looks so good. You can tell it's gonna have a lot of smoke flavor. Now, while these look dark, I did do an internal temp on them and they're only about 140 right now. So I like to cook chicken drumsticks very much like I like to cook chicken wings, I like to push them towards that 180, 185, sometimes even 190, just depending on how big they are because it makes them juicier and they tend to fall off the bone more. All right, these are looking pretty good now that I flipped them. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop the lid back on and finish them out. All right, we're back. I just pulled the lid off. Dang, these look good. Chicken sitting at about 180, 185. This is perfect temp, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them in. All right, I'm gonna put a couple of the drumsticks in the bowl here. That way it's a little easier to sauce up and then pour some sauce on. Now, if you want, you could obviously sauce these or brush them on and then glaze them on the grill, but 
I like, I like my chicken like really, really saucy. So I'm just gonna see if I can toss these. <laughs> there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, right, here we go. I like to serve these with a pretty hefty pile of pickles. Trust me when I say it, it helps cool them down. <laughs> In true Nashville hot fashion, you can dust more seasoning on top if you want it extra hot. I'll do a little bit because I don't like to punish myself, but I like the heat. Whoo, these look incredible. Don't worry, I've got a drink standing by. You saw them before the sauce. They were really nice and smoky. And since I just sauced these, they're still really warm, which I'm excited about. And of course that extra heat's probably gonna melt me, but eh, whatever. Woo, I got a large wet wipe today. Ah, oh, the beard. Probably didn't need that extra seasoning sprinkled on at the end. Oh man, that's hot. Whatever you do, do not touch your eyes after eating these. And this is why we have the pickles. <laughs> Clearly they're very spicy, which was my goal from the beginning. I spent a long time on this recipe trying to make sure that it was as close to that Nashville hot heat without over compromising on the sweet side. Hope you guys try out this recipe. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit subscribe. We'll see you next time. Cheers.